Some people wait a lifetime like this. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome on back. My name is Brittany if you are new and I am a middle school teacher. I am so happy because today is pretty much like our Friday but it's Tuesday. We are about to go on Thanksgiving break. I know some people have the whole week off but for us it's just you come in Monday, Tuesday and then you have the break but it goes by fast so we're very excited and I was allowed to wear jeans today which is also very exciting. I'm very comfy. So I just got here not too long ago and something I like to do when I come into my classroom is just get all set up and I like to preview whatever I'm going to show my students. So for warm up sometimes I like to show them videos or a quick little mini lesson or a lecture and then I tie it in to my own lesson. Sometimes it's interesting just to hear from other people and to bring in other people without bringing them in I've been using a website called the great course plus and it's been such a lifesaver they're actually working with me on this video it's an on-demand video subscription service there's 11,000 videos and honestly there are videos that I use just at home about like cooking and like wine and just like learning about different things like that but then there's so much that I use in the classroom so the video that I have been watching this morning is actually about rephrasing because so often in my students writing I'll be like okay that's a really good thought like let's try to rephrase that a little bit or change the sentence structure a little bit or add to it so that we can see a little bit more detail so I think this video or just a portion of this video would be really interesting for them to see the people that they have doing these lessons are incredible. Some of them are from the Smithsonian, National Geographic, an amazing culinary school so a lot of incredible people that I'm just like Hello, I love you. And it's just been a huge help for me. I've always loved bringing in other voices into my classroom so my students can hear other people other than me. So what I'll probably do is find about two, three minutes of this video clip that really stand out to me about rephrasing, and then I'll put it into my warm up. So they'll watch that first, and then maybe I'll give them four or five sentences that really could use some rephrasing, and they'll give those sentences a little makeover, and then we'll go over it from there. And it's not just for English teachers or writing teachers like I said there's science there's math there's cooking so there's a lot of different categories to choose from and they are so sweet they are offering a free trial I cannot say enough good things about it I am going to finish watching this small clip on rephrasing and seeing where I'm going to put that in my warm-up and then come up with those sentences and I'll show you what I am thinking now I need to grade I need to grade papers I have like two more classes left it's that here humans of 204 project and I come up with these like creative exciting engaging writing activities and it's so fun in the moment and then you get to the part where you grade them and you're like but it's necessary because they deserve it they worked hard on it and I just need to get it done the thing is I grade them all through Google Doc or I use um I use Google to leave them comments because I like them to be able to respond and whatnot. And I really read every single one. So it takes me a hot minute to grade, but I'm almost done. I think I have a little bit left of one class and then I have one more class to go. And then I'm gonna start setting up for a science experiment. I definitely don't have enough time to grade all of them, but I'm gonna see how many I can get done within like the next, 10 15 minutes and then I need to run down on and get some hot water for the science experiment and then we'll get started I live in the tragic that's where the magic is I only have about seven left to grade, which isn't too bad. And my advisory class is about to come in. I absolutely love them. Advisory is basically just a small group of students that you get to see every other day. Well, that's because of block schedule, but it's been a lot of fun to have advisory. And I've been helping out with the lesson planning for that because it concentrates on mindfulness and all things that I personally love. Today, all the advisory classes are doing something called Secret Turkey, where the teachers get to, it's almost like Secret Santa, you get to randomly assign students 
students, um, another student, so you can send them an email of who their secret turkey is, and they have to draft an email to, draft and write an email to their secret turkey, just introducing themselves, I'm your secret turkey, um, letting them know a contribution that they have personally made to the class, basically thanking them for that contribution, and then wishing them a holiday wish uh, this week. So I think it'll be nice, it's a way to help students um, express gratitude, build relationships, write an email, all good things, and we're playing it with the staff as well. So I got to assign them a secret turkey and I just sent my email to my secret turkey. So all fun things. So I am getting ready for that and then I need to run down and get that hot water before my experiment. And I'll explain the experiment a little bit more later, but essentially I am mixing writing and science together, I taught my students sentence structure. And with sentence structure, there are so many different, I call them formulas, um, a simple sentence, a compound sentence, compound complex. And last class we were supposed to do this, but I actually had the wrong yeast. I sent my fiance out to the store and I did not specify. So my loving, loving fiance got nutritional yeast. And I was like, this is like cheese in a way it tastes like cheese when you put it on like pasta and stuff and so that wasn't going to create a reaction and it was a total like teacher fail moment but we ended up completely turning it around after the students were able to unlock the laboratory um, we turned it into a comedy lab instead of a science lab and they got to come up and tell jokes using sentence structure so they wrote their jokes in a simple sentence, a compound sentence, and it was really, really fun. Quick way to turn it around. So when in doubt, if you need something, just make it into a comedy club so you can all laugh about it. But um, yeah, so today we're doing science. I have the correct yeast, the food coloring. I'm going to be moving my table soon over there and getting that all ready for them. They basically already unlocked the lab last class. There were like five different levels. So in order to get to the next level, they had to complete three sentences of each different sentence structure. So after they did simple sentence, cha-ching, unlocked, and then we moved on to compound and then compound complex and all the things. So. And they've already mastered that and I promised them today I would just concentrate on um, the science experiment and then we're gonna talk about story structure a little bit after but I'm really excited to see how this turns out I haven't done this in a really long time it's elephant toothpaste so stay tuned so we're gonna have to do some math everyone now we need 10 drops of your favorite food coloring so what what do we what kind of color do we want to do Red and you can do red and blue so like a cool purple okay so julia you can do five of the red and blake you can do five of the blue we've got this okay so now it says one tablespoon of liquid dish soap some people wait a lot time like this okay no i would say a little more like a pinch more a little more you want to get it right on the line because this is really what's gonna yeah, that's, that's good. good. All right. Why, of course I have. Not. Do you have a concern? What does it say? Is it one one tablespoon? Yeah, it's one tablespoon. Two, two, one. Oh my God, nothing's happening. Oh. Oh yeah, we'll do it a few times. Just do it extra and then have it explode. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this? Oh. Isn't that cool? Okay, so it's almost the end of the day. I had lunch. I have just been grading those papers, planning. This is like our Friday, as I've mentioned. So I'm about to go clean up my classroom and just get it all ready. When I come back, I really like it to be clean so I can just come back and feel ready and inspired for those last few weeks before the end of the year but anyways today was so much fun um I pretty sure I mentioned what we did before before that did I tell you the story with the use hopefully I did but um if I didn't essentially the students 
worked their way up to that experiment so they had to unlock different challenges to get there by using sentence structure i definitely talked about this and then today was just that fun day to really celebrate it and we had a lot of fun just making it work wearing gloves socially distant and yeah it was really a wonderful day you know there are good days and there are bad days this year today is definitely one that i'm going to hold on to and remember we had a lot of fun and things aren't always perfect. I forgot to change the date on my board today, but there were also a lot of highs and you know, it happens. We can't always be perfect and it is what it is. We are trying and that's what makes 2020 what it is. And that's what makes us human, right? But anyways, I hope if you are watching this, you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.